Hi y'all, this is so so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? I thought about a video that I'm that's swirling in my head. Um, and I'm not gonna talk about it fully right now because I'm just not presentable enough. You know, it's nighttime, got my night clothes, my hair, my fro ain't right. Um, I haven't totally got my thoughts on this together, totally, but um just as a just to put the put a little a little bit of it out there for y'all, just a little taste of what we're we are going to be talking about. Um, my daddy, this is kind of like a whole other topic. But my daddy's in the hospital. Um, he's okay, but thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. Um, he has my dad has heart problems, but he does not do anything to try and take good care of himself. But he claimed when he get home out of the hospital, oh, this time is going to be different. We'll see. I'll keep you all updated on that. But that has nothing to do with my video. Well, it has a little to do with my video. So I'm there visiting my dad. Um, me and my husband there visiting my dad in the hospital. And, I mean, he's up on about talking and everything. And we were just we were just talking about relationships and stuff, and he was just telling me how much he just really love and admire me and Charles's relationship. And he's like a proud proud dad because he says, um, DJ, I just um, what did he say? He said it just really make me feel good that you paid attention to all of that that I poured into you. And y'all, my dad did a lot of. Um, the uh, knowledge that I have and that I share with you is because uh, my dad poured it into me. I mean, I don't know why. I, I, I think it's because in our household there were four girls. Now, Papa was a rolling stone and had many other children outside the household. But inside the household, it was just four girls and I'm the oldest. So I was like my dad's boy. So I think my daddy raised me kind of like his boy. So that's why I have a lot of men thinking in my mind. You know, you say, you know, how does she know this about men? And when I tell you I know a lot about men, my daddy raised me like I was his son. You know, I was like a feminine tomboy. But anyways, so he poured a lot, of, poured a lot into me, and he, it makes him feel proud when he looks and sees how I treat my husband, the relationship that we have, um, etc. So he was just telling me that, and I was just telling him, Daddy, you know, I really thank, I really do thank you for all that you did pour into me, and all that you did teach me about men, love, relationship, um, how to love a man. I said because unfortunately, so many women didn't have that, and. Um, we were discussing my mom and I was just, you know, saying, Daddy, Mama didn't have that. Mama didn't have that father in her life like I have who was able to teach her that and pour that into her. So even at 60 something years old, my mom is still learning how to love a man, even though they've been together 45 years. But anyways, um, so that just made me think about a video that I, like I said, have swirling in my mind is that I think that is one of the top reasons. There may be like three to five top reasons why um, say like men and women just not jailing, why we have so many single women um, in, we have so many single women especially in the um, African American culture because like I said there are, there are a few different reasons so I'm not saying this is the only reason. Y'all, please understand this. I'm not saying this is the only reason. But it's like I had an aha moment when I was thanking my dad for what he had taught me and poured into me. And when I thought about how my mom and millions and millions and millions of other women didn't have that, a man teaching them about a man, teaching them about how to love a man, how to honor a man, how to respect a man, how to please a man, you know, all of that different stuff. And so, and I don't mean please sexually, you know, but uh, because, believe me, it's not even about that. Um, it's how to please him as far as honoring him and respecting him and all that. And um, that's when I kind of like had an aha moment. Like, I think that's one of the primary problems that we have in relationships. 
and especially in African American community, um, why we have so many single women because a great percentage of them come from single parent families raised and headed by a woman and where was the man where was the father that taught their daughters how to love honor respect appreciate love a man and that's missing like I said especially overwhelmingly in the african-american community and that was my aha moment um, so unfortunate that many young ladies didn't have that and I was fortunate enough to have that and then on top of that then I also you know gleaned from my own personal experiences my own personal hurts pains um, triumph joys um, relationships um, hits misses pr promiscuity um, you know all kinds of things so yeah that was my aha moment that's that kind of that missing link uh, because we we have as women we have not been taught how about men it, it's I, I so love that book by Steve Harvey act like a lady think like a man that's how I was raised I was raised my mom taught me how to act like a lady and my dad taught me how to think like a man. And I just, I, I never thought about that until today when I'm visiting my dad in the hospital. And that's the missing link. If we can understand that thinking like a lady or acting like a lady and thinking like a man, because so many of us think that we know. We think we know, yeah, my lips so, my lips so chap. Anyways, but so many of us think that we know men, but we are missing the mark. And then so many of us say, well, why did, especially us, now y'all know us, to our black women, sisters, why we got to know them? Why they can't know us? But see right there, you probably single, and you might be for a long time, if you're thinking like that. Okay, but anyways... I'm going to explore this when my lips looking more moist and my afro is on point and I'm dressed and got on some earrings and all of that good stuff. But we're going to address this issue sometime this week. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to address this issue in a video or do I want to address this in um, like a blog TV. I've never done blog TV but I really want to. I'm trying to see what's the best form to talk about this because I don't want to just talk. I want us to have a good conversation about it. All right. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed. It's coming y'all. And y'all keep my dad in prayer.